Okay, so uh, I am out here today with a, um, an algae production system that I've started, and this is a, a test to see if we can raise blue-green algae. And what you can see is rather crude. I've taken a, a piece of glass and, um, and, and a hose, and I'm running the hose from a, uh, a barrel that's filled with water and some nutrients and another container that uh, basically is was big enough to hold the glass and the glass is sitting in there it's got a rubber liner in it it's also got this valve that i designed it's a it's a, a trickle valve that water drains out of the bottom and the top if it overflows um, and it's bringing uh, it's bringing the uh, it's allowing this whole system to recirculate uh, very easily but nonetheless when the sun is shining on the glass, uh, there's, a, there's a, a lot of radiant light and heat that's created and essentially this water is trickling down on the gra glass. You can see the algae, uh, which is forming there. It's not sticking too much, even though I've got a, um, a fiberglass mesh with some texture to hold the, uh, the uh, particles of algae. But more importantly, the water is, is getting uh, exposed by the sunlight. And it's it's producing a uh, uh, an environment. It's creating an environment that's conducive for production of algae. The algae is also uh, uh, a typically a cyanobacteria that is a form of blue-green algae. And the goal is to uh, ultimately create spirulina. Uh, that'll happen when the pH is adjusted up to about 10, 10 and a half. Uh, that also kills off the other. Uh, uh, varieties of algae, some of which can be toxic, but not to, in this case, we're, with a, a clean environment, it's uh, pretty much all safe, and it's used as a fish food, um, so for the tilapia. So essentially, this is primarily designed as a means of producing food from, uh, from uh, sun, from water, and some minerals. You can actually do this from urine also, as with the peaponics. Uh, but we're going to be doing it with worm castings and with, um, with ash, which contains uh, potassium and some trace elements, as well as calcium. Uh, all those add to alkalinity, which will help the, the system and provide a perfect uh, 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 solution for, uh, for raising blue-green algae, for raising spirulina. And um, so uh, this is affected by pH. Uh, you can raise algae at a lower pH, but it, um, it, uh, the blue-green variety uh, is, it, it grows well in, a, in an alkaline, more alkaline uh, environment. The other thing we're doing to raise uh, the CO2 level, you know, CO2 you often see that it has, uh, they have a, uh, they infuse CO2 from exhaust in, uh, in, in uh, uh, manufacturing facilities to raise uh, CO2 is a biomass in bio, biomass industry um, for ethanol, but we're not using CO2 in this case, although we will be uh, in some of the designs that we're creating for greenhouses and, and aquaponics taking the, the CO2 off the top of the tanks and infusing it into, uh, into the water, uh, the algae water. But I think we can actually do the same uh, with uh, actually putting something like a um, the compost. In this case, it's uh, straw, it's a wheat straw and clover, it's shredded, you can see a container of it right there, and put into a little uh, fiber mesh, and then I just drop it right into the, into the tank, and it is, you know, as it gets saturated and decomposes, it releases a lot of really nice carbohydrate CO2 into the water. I mean, that's primarily where algae gets its, uh, algae gets its oxygen, I mean, it's CO2. It does get it from the surface quite nicely, but uh, you know this is a this is a form of uh, pond fertilization that's uh, practiced in China quite extensively. Although they put a lot more things into the water, um, this is a uh, this is kind of a controlled method. We're gonna we're gonna calibrate the actual amount based on the volume of water and the type of plant matter. You know, I did it recently with kudzu that worked out real nice. That could stay in there for several days. Uh, 10 days or so before it, it completely decomposes and uh, But I got I got plenty of carbohydrate in there right now and You know with an adjustment to the pH the uh, raising of the temperature 
uh, agitation of the water, which we're getting good agitation by doing uh, this method right here. All the water is getting circulated and aerated. And uh, adequate nutrients, and as such, we will have a, an ideal atmosphere. This water can be strained out and strained out through a, a fine mesh, uh, removing the algae. The algae can then be uh, heated up in a UV light, uh, something like a solar chamber to kill off uh, any microorganisms. And then the uh, algae is then transferred to a, a solar uh, dehydrator, which uh, puts it into a form that can be um, used as a um, as a powder. It can be made into cookies, added as a as added to cereals, smoothies, things like that. is ideal for uh, for treating malnourishment and um, and starvation in developing countries. And I'm David, and this is uh, we're we're developing systems for. Uh, feeding the communities, utilizing natural resources.